Hey, it's just Pinky Money Territory here, and today's video is, yet again, it is another video on House and Piece of Paper. On, hopefully you can see this, how to make a rabbit toy. So this is on how to make a rabbit toy. And I give full credit to uh give full credit to a rabbit slice XOXO. So yeah. So I'm not sure what she calls it, but I call this the um strip fiesta because a bunch of Cardboard strips, and you put them on a string. See, that's pretty much all you do with it. But yeah, so you're gonna need your cardboard toilet paper tube. So yeah, this one's hard. Messed one. I'm um, gonna need your scissors. I'm not sure my camera's fuzzy. Maybe even worse. Hold on. So yeah, and your scissors. Okay, it's better, I guess. And your string. So yeah. So what you want to do is you want to take your toilet paper tube. Uh, you can flatten. I would flatten it a tiny bit just so you get these scissors around it. But you don't have to, I guess. Then you just cut I'd say about this much off like for one sex sex section I believe or you can just keep on going with all you have to do is like cut strips and then um cut them like that or you can just simply go like this so that it's like that and then cut your strips So yeah, I'm going to actually use the whole, um, toilet paper tube, so yeah. And I'm going to do this. And they will be a different sizing depending on how your tube is, or how you cut in the first place. So I see like this one. And this one, two different sizes. So I just keep on cutting strips. Um, here's the incorrect way to do it. I'm just going to give this one to the bunny since it's the incorrect way. You're not cutting them this small because you're going to have to put a hole in them. So, yeah. Cut them at least like this, big enough to put a hole in. Oh. So yeah, these are probably going to be even bigger pieces, so you had to go from small, medium, to large. Or if you're going to cut them small, like this at least make an indent in the middle and then go small so like that you can do that and then put the hole there I guess I don't know so here's the Here is how the chain is going. It's going like this. Mm. Going from large, medium to small. So yeah. 
Okay, so now that you have your tubes cut up, what you want to do is you want to take them and cut, put hole, holes inside of them. So I'm actually going to use a tray to do this. Just so, um, there's like stuff in here. So, yeah. So, then take it and pierce a hole in it. Eh, tricky. This thing's a hard toilet paper tube. Or, there we go. And then, I would like, do that, so... Yeah, through all of them, just pierce a little hole in it, and yeah, so I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back, and once you want to make all of your holes, which look like that, you want to take your string and make a knot at the end, like that. I would do like a double or triple. Right here, I just did a triple, so I'm going to do one more just to triple and... Double and stuff to make sure it's good. So yeah, it's a big knot, but I don't care. And now you're just going to take your t uh, twine and put it through the holes all the way to the end. And do like four or five or six or seven or eight or nine or ten at a time. So I'm just trying to make the holes and stuff. I think I'm going to put like, I don't know how much I'm going to put put on each hole. I had to think about that. I think I'm just going to put random numbers and then as I go outside if it's good enough or not. So yeah. Okay, so once you have the amount you want on there, what you're going to do is make another knot above the last one just to keep that cluster in place. So yeah, that, that should keep it in place and it's slide around and stuff. So yeah, and now you're just going to add the next one and the next one and the next one and... The one after that, and <laughs> more and more, so, yeah. Um, yeah I'm trying to do this fast, because I really don't want to, like, make another video on what it looks like. Because I don't like combining them, because my, cause I don't have a computer, so it's hard to combine them. So I hope you guys don't mind that, you know, I'm just like talking through it and being boring and stuff in it. So, yeah. Eh, doesn't fit! Occasionally you'll find one that does not fit, so kind of have to force it through. Or do whatever to get the string in. Okay, I'm moving it. Okay, now I have my next cluster, which is much smaller, but still. Now, as I did before, I'm going to put the um, hole above it. So, yeah. And now it's going to do one more. I'm going to do these last bits that are up here. And then I'll be done with the video. You guys can continue with whatever you're doing, and I don't know. I can do whatever. So, yeah. Oh no, it's a small 
small. It's small. A very small hole. Here, let me scratch. There we go. Trying to do these small holes first because they're extremely annoying to get the toy through. So, yeah. But I do like big holes because they're easy to get, to get them through. Okay. So now here's my last cluster right there. Now, as I did have said before in the video before that, or not video before that, but the thing before that, you just tie it like that, and then you cut it. So here is my toy. It's pretty cool. And I'm sure the bunnies will love it because. I think she did hers differently. I think after every toy she made a knot. I'm not sure because I didn't watch the whole video. I just saw the finished product and I, you know, went from there. But still, I got this idea from a Rabbit's Life XOX. Oh, wait, XOXO. So yeah, now you just tie it to your cage.